Hello everyone, welcome to Stefan's Kitchen. I'm Stefan, and uh, before we get started, if you're not following us on Instagram yet, uh, I am at Old World Gamer. Uh, you can see a lot more cooking pictures over there, and you can actually request for me to make videos and recipe videos uh, from the different pictures and stuff, and I'm more than happy to do so. Anyways, this week we've got a fun recipe to do. I've had a few people request it, and I said, well, let's go and do it. And I have no better name for it than Stefan's Comfort Soup. It's, it's, it's a nice Asian noodle soup. I think you're going to like it. A lot of people seem to enjoy the pictures from it. A few, few people have tried it as well and have thoroughly enjoyed. So I said, okay, let's do a recipe video. So here we go. All right, so first we're going to start off with a nice hot pan. We're going to roast off some shallots and onions. Uh, that was one medium onion it cut up and about uh, five or six small shallots. And next we're going to add some salt, just to start seasoning our vegetables, and a little bit of pepper as well. Sometimes I like a lot of pepper. It all depends on your own palate. Again, seasoned the way that you like things. If you don't like as much pepper, don't use as much pepper. Next we are going to put in some crushed garlic. Yeah, sometimes these things can be a little bit finicky because it doesn't really fully crush garlic as the way you would prefer to. And it goes up and over the garlic press. Anyways, I'm putting in three cloves of garlic. Oh, it's so much. Don't worry about it. Just calm down. It's really good. We're making soup. It's going to provide lots of delicious flavor. Uh, so give it a stir around. Again, you want to sweat these off. Give them a little bit of color. You want a little bit of brownness to it. Um, for the color and next we're gonna add a little bit of cooking sherry that's right and this has a nice kind of a sweet flavor to it as well um, I find it works very well in a lot of uh, Asian flavored cuisines which this soup is uh, fully Asian flavored inspired so next we're gonna add a little bit of chili garlic sauce it's almost like a, a paste of, of chili with a little bit of garlic in it and I like it it's almost like sriracha but without all the spice more or less um, so yeah stir that around next we're gonna add some of Campbell's pho broth that's right it's all natural flavors it has a really nice color as well it has like a yellowish color so that in combination with our brown veggies almost gives a nice little like amber colored broth and eventually it should be a nice little bit of a, a brownish kind of broth because we're going to add some soy and stuff like that. Anyways, we added in a couple of, uh, of those uh, packages of broth. And uh, now we're adding in some ginger. And again, you can add in a little bit of uh, water as you go because it is going to boil out. Uh, add in some soy sauce. And some pure sesame oil. Now, the reason we're leaving that ginger so large is that it's easier to pick out. No one likes, you know, biting into a large piece of ginger. Next, we're adding our cauliflower. Cauliflower takes a little bit longer to soften and become, uh, some people like it hard and, and fresh, but I find in soups, it's nice when it's really soft and almost combines. Next, uh, for this soup, I'm using shiitake mushrooms. They were on special, so I was like, ooh, I'm gonna make a nice flavored soup now. Um, Sometimes we go with button mushrooms. It all depends on what kind you have, or not button, uh, the white mushrooms. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to add in all these, stir them up, the entire package. I mean, hey, you got lots of room. You can do it. So we're going to have eggs. I got them ready over there for boiling. But over here, oh, I've already roasted off some pork bellies. Now, people want to know what I did with this. I slathered them with a little bit of hoisin, uh, then some minced garlic, and then I gave a very light squirt of um, sriracha in like a zigzag pattern over the top. That's it. And then I roasted them off until they were kind of crispy. So, anyways, next we're going to be adding, yes, some nice king oyster mushrooms. I was lucky enough to get some of these as well, so we had some fancy mushrooms to go in for a change, which is always nice because, well, mushrooms are delicious uh, next we're adding in some baby bok choy if you can get your hands on some of this 
it's worth putting in there. It's so good. It breaks down, believe me. It looks large now, but it will break down to, to be a lot smaller once it's cooked. And uh, it adds a nice color and a nice flavor to the broth. We absolutely love bok choy. Uh, we've been cooking it a lot with Brussels sprouts as well, so... Uh, but yeah, bok choy, very, very nice vegetable. It's it's good to get some more greens into your diet. It never hurts, right? Right? Next, get your noodles going. I got some, like, um, almost like some ramen noodle there. There's also some udon, if you can see the bigger, fatter noodles, maybe. Mm, there's some. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there's some udon noodles, and then you got some, like, ramen-type noodles. And we're just letting our, uh, our broth simmer. We don't want it to break down too much. Again, add water, especially if once you start adding everything to it add water to your broth you want to make sure you have lots of broth next while your noodles are boiling here's a great way to uh, make your vegetables really colorful and nice add in your broccoli here to a, uh, a china cap and uh, you can also put in some I got I picked up some shredded carrot sticks because I seen them there so I was like man this is easier than me doing it so I'm just going to get a few more in there once the package opens because he knows what it's like now. So I'm gonna, it doesn't want to come out. I'm like, fine, whatever, carrots. But yeah, put your carrots and broccoli in there. Let them steam up uh, from the, uh, the steam coming from the boiling water there from your pasta. And by pasta, I mean noodles. What am I saying? My God. <laughs> All right, and now's the time that you can take a bunch of green onion, chop them up. And uh, you can also take all your delicious, delicious pork bellies and chop them into fine cubes. So if you've seen any of these pictures on Instagram and it looked like there's black bits, it's because of the way the color looks. <laughs> the, the lighting is not as optimal as it can be sometimes, but uh, I assure you, none of that is actually burnt. It is all just crispy and um, browned, or I guess blackened from the hoisin, but it's, it's completely delicious. Next, add your noodle, your noodles and stuff to your broth. Just give it a good stir around. I may have added a few too many noodles to this one, but I mean, hey, you know what? You, you can't go wrong with extra noodles, right? Everyone loves noodles. Especially if it's a noodle soup. It's comforting. Yeah, also, if you can see here in the back, start boiling your eggs. Uh, you want them to be like a, a, a between a soft and a hard boiled egg. Uh, add in your broccoli and your um, carrots to the noodles and the soup and just let it simmer a little bit there while you're waiting for your eggs to cook up and I almost forgot <laughs> but yeah cut your beef very thin and pour hot broth over it and it will cook out like this as you can see it's still a little bit pink but it will cook out believe me as long as you cut it thin enough add on your boiled eggs and add in your chopped pork belly and next we will add on our green onion for some f extra flavor and some color because, well, why not? Anyways, this is our final product. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this recipe. Uh, again, I know I've had a lot of people say like it looks fantastic, um, that they want to try. Some people have tried it and thought it was spectacular as well. So I'm very, I'm very much hoping that you guys enjoyed as much as we do. Uh, if you do, please leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you have any uh, recipes you'd like to see me do, or um, some other type of food item you'd like me to work with, just let us know, and we'll, we're more than happy to do it. We're also going to be recording a few things when Robin starts cooking a little bit uh, as well, uh, as long as she feels comfortable. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all next time for a new recipe. Bye-bye.